So you guys know the beauty brand Dove. They're responsible for pushing the Crown Act, which said that black women were getting discriminated for their hair in workplaces and in schools. They also were responsible for doing a whole ad about fat liberation in video games. We know the culture over there at that company. Well, they've now rolled out a new spokesperson in a sponsorship for Dove Partners, and that spokesperson is a hate crime hoaxer. It's time to talk about it. Yeah, you better. Guys, before we get into this video, please like and subscribe. I like to keep you up to date with all the crazy stories that are happening in our culture right now, and this one is one of them. Now, Dove has a sponsorship program known as Dove Partners, and they've decided to recently partner with Zaina Bryant, who is a famous activist at the University of Virginia. She is most known for working closely with Black Lives Matter, getting a statue of Robert E. Lee taken down in Charlottesville, and most recently, moving forward with a fat liberation movement. You also might recognize this young woman's name from a hate crime hoax that she she polled at the University of Virginia. But we'll get to that in just a second. First, let's watch the video that she put out for Dove Partners. My belief is that we should be centering the voices and experiences of the most marginalized people and communities at all times. So when I think about what fat liberation looks like to me, it looks like centering the voices and the experiences of those who live in and who maneuver through spaces and institutions in a fat body. It looks like making accessible spaces and having conversations that are aware of the fact that people have different bodies and that they are interacting with space and people and institutions and communities in a different way. Fat liberation looks like fully embracing those differences and having those conversations instead of shying away from them. To learn more about fat liberation and the campaign for size freedom that Dove is supporting, visit dove.com forward slash size freedom. Tap in, join the campaign, support the campaign. This is important and we should all be talking about it. Now I have my own thoughts about this sponsorship and the idea of fat liberation, but we might not delve too deeply into that today. All I can say is maybe it's not a movement that we should all have at the forefront of our brains. And I would like to challenge the idea that we should always keep the most marginalized among us in the center of the conversation. She herself is three steps up on the hierarchy by being black, a female, and now advocating for fat liberation. So she's got some points. And we all know that the marginalized people who have the most points are the ones who are going to be advocating that they constantly be at the center of conversations. But let's leave the talk of fat liberation for another video. I, in fact, want to focus on Dove and why they've chosen to partner with somebody who has committed a hate crime hoax in the past. Now, looking into Brian's record, you find a name, Morgan Bettinger. And we're all going to get familiar with who Morgan is. At one point, there were BLM protests happening at the University of Virginia. Now, Morgan Bettinger made the grave mistake of deciding to drive on a day that BLM protesters wanted the roads to be blocked. Morgan drove up, recognized that there was traffic and some sort of blockage in the road and realized that there were protesters in the street. She also noticed a dump truck that was seemingly blocking off the street so others could not drive past. At this point, Morgan decides to park her car, get out of the car and walk to see what was going on. This is where she accounts running into the truck driver and having a very brief conversation with him where she stated, it is a good thing that you are here. Otherwise, these people would have become speed bumps, end quote. And this is where Miss Bryant comes in. She apparently claims to have overheard the conversation between Morgan and the truck driver and stated that Morgan said the protesters would make good speed bumps. Now an altercation ensues, the protesters are yelling at Morgan and apparently at one point Morgan decides to call the police crying, stating that she was being attacked. By the way, the truck driver that was there on that fateful day corroborated Morgan's story and said that that was in fact what she told him. Now the incident didn't stop on the street that day. Bryant decided that she was going to expose Morgan Bettinger online, posted a tweet where she claimed Morgan Bettinger said the protesters would make good speed bumps, as well as a video of Morgan Bettinger in her car. And of course it continues, internet sleuths decided to go through Morgan Bettinger's social media posts where they found that she was pro-police and actually that her late father was a police officer. This made them even more enraged towards this young woman. Now Brian decided that posting this tweet on the internet and getting people to hate on Morgan was simply not enough. She made several reports to the administrative offices of UV 
WBA that Morgan Bettinger should not graduate due to the fact that she was racist. Now, of course, as these things happen, Miss Bryant decided to elaborate on her story. She stated that Bettinger, in fact, said the phrase good speed bumps five times during this altercation and that she specifically decided to discriminate against Bryant based on her race. Now, this was taken to some sort of court inside the university system where they, in fact, decided, even though they could not corroborate the statement that Bryant made, that Morgan Bettinger should be punished. Now, Morgan Bettinger does eventually graduate from UVA, but with a permanent strike on her record. And although Morgan Bettinger does have dreams of going to law school, she states that the permanent strike on her record could hinder that process. In this time of oppression, it's so interesting to look at the separate lives of Morgan Bettinger and Zaina Bryant in this time. Morgan Bettinger is currently in the back and forth of possibly bringing a lawsuit against the university just to clear her name from a random accusation that was made against her one day when she decided to drive at the wrong time, apparently. When we check back in with Zaina Bryant, she's been profiled by the Washington Post for her activism. She's been listed in the Ebony's Power 100 for her activism and is now partnering in a sponsorship with Dove. Now, this is not to say that Zaina Bryant should never work again a day in her life, or at least not in the public sphere. I imagine for most people, if a large company like Dove came and said, we want to sponsor you and give you a bunch of money for social media posts, many of us would take them up on that offer. This is just to point out the complete and utter lunacy of wokeness and the fact that Miss Bryant has not been held accountable, it seems, for the actions and the attack committed against Morgan Bettinger. She has not apologized other than saying that she admits she may have misheard what Bettinger said on that fateful day. And she certainly has been levied no punishment for all the strife that she created within Morgan's life. And funnily enough, I think it all harkens back to what Bryant said in her original video that she shared for Dove Partners. The most marginalized among us must be centered in the conversation. And that marginalized status puts her at the center. Zaina Bryant is bigger. She is a woman. She is black. And those three markers put her at the center of every conversation, even though it seems as though she's committed a heinous act in the past. And more so than criticizing her for what she's done, which I believe deserves much criticism, I'd like to criticize the company Dove for continuing to push forward and perpetuate a narrative that is not good for our society. They've done it with the Crown Act. They've done it with the fat liberation in video games. And now they've done it by actively promoting and sponsoring a woman who is responsible for a hate crime hoax. Now, do I think that Dove is going to be fully held accountable for this action and for this sponsorship? Probably not. This doesn't seem to be a Bud Light Dylan Mulvaney moment for this company. However, I do see people who disagree with this form of activism tossing out their Dove products and deciding maybe they won't buy Dove soap or Dove products the next time they head to the store. And for me, that's enough. We vote with our dollars. We should be patronizing companies that push forward our values values, or at the very least, don't push forward a narrative that we vehemently disagree with. And for Miss Bryant, all I ask is a little bit of accountability. And maybe that accountability will come with the lawsuit that Bettinger is bringing against the university, but it shouldn't have to take all that to get an apology here. You know how I feel about cancel culture. At some point, we must move on from wrongdoings that we have committed in the past. And Bryant deserves that opportunity. But that opportunity comes paired with accountability and taking responsibility for your actions and the harm that you have caused in another's life. And for me, as soon as that is done, go ahead and partner with all these woke companies who want to throw money at you. They will get their comeuppance when consumers head to the store. And for all of you watching right now, maybe the next time you head to the supermarket or your grocery store, you stay away from Dove soap and Dove products. But as always, let me know your thoughts. If you disagree with me, I always encourage healthy debate in the comments. So duke it out, but do so respectfully. And if you like this video and the story, please like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified every single time we post a video for you guys, which is every day. And if you want to support the show now that we've gone independent, there's a link in my description down below for Patreon. You can become a patron at virtually any price point, even as low as $1 and all the tiers are the same. So no pressure, give if you want to. And with that, I will see you tomorrow. Yeah, you better. Yeah, you better.